your swing. Yeah. And you don't want to do that. So it's simply a matter of lining up the, the ball and the club mm -hmm. and coming back with a nice full swing and coming into the ball and following through so you, in other words, you're, uh, <laughs> Watch where you're swinging. <laughs> yes, you're, you're, your follow through will keep on going until you come around with it like that. And that gives the thrust, the whole, the whole stroke, you can determine this, say it better than I can, I'm sure. Really? Um, and I'm not trying to be funny about this part, this part of it, because I think that you got to give them the straight shots. You know? Right? Okay. This is the master here. Oh, really? We are, his, yeah. we are his second class students, so to speak. Yeah, well, she's first class. I'm second class. Oh, oh. Mm. how did you master it so well? I actually taught myself nicely. Really? This is the other wiffle ball. Which is, it'll go a little further, and this is a real ball. So you can see the difference in the weights. Oh, yeah. So I first start with this kind, and then you graduate to this one, and then this and then one? And then you play golf with the last one. Yeah, oh, my goodness. <coughs> the balls will travel. <clears throat> off the tee, off that driver there, it'll travel anywhere from <clears throat> 170 yards for dad to 300 and 350 yards. Wow. Now, do people tee. really use those big ones? These, yeah. And bigger. And bigger. This is a small Big Bertha. They have bigger ones, though. Wow. Professionals, they don't use them, though, do they? Mm -hmm. oh. oh, yeah. Really? Maybe we could make it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, can I try you the feel of it? I would actually suggest going outside. Right. Drop the ball in the grass. But she can't leave the... Well, yeah. She'd have you to know, do it all back. I have to water the flowers today sometimes, so I wonder if I could just kind of take that. Yeah, <laughs> sure. You could. Yeah, sure. Now, so, now how do I hold it? Left, left hand on the top. The left hand? On the top. On the top. Up here. Mm -hmm. Put your thumb going down the shaft. Yeah. Your Get your hand out of there. On my forefinger? Um, your forefinger. Oh. You put that running down so you can grip with the other hand. Oh, this is going to be too close. Let me give you a demo like this. I need to lay the club in here. Oh, Scott, you know, this is really complicated. Now, this hand. Oh. Oh, you see? <laughs> Yeah, turn it out a little bit so it's a little bit straighter here. Look over this. Just keep your hands right there. Right there. Just like that. Now for you, that club's a little long, so you may have to move your hands down. There you go. Like this. And then I, I'm going to turn to this side so that... That looks, that looks All right, good. now, yeah. then what, you swing? You, you, you swing back. Back. Yeah. And then forward. Yeah. And and then make contact with the ball. Oh, then, that's right. <laughs> make contact with the ball and then just keep swinging through it. And then you just continue to follow, follow. Let through. the momentum go. It's just fluid, just like a ballet dance. Just fluid. Oh my! You ought to have fun. Might have to go get her a tee or two so she can tee up the ball out of the. Oh no, that's a, oh my goodness. This would make good videos. You think so? <laughs> You know, maybe the day that you come in, we could get all the sisters and you could like give us a demonstration. We could say golf 101. Oh, that would, that would be, be fun. fun. That you would think fun. so? Sure. I don't think but it you know, would the be. ground out there is kind of like, you know. That's all right. We'll, we'll, tee, we'll keep it with the woods and we'll put them on tees and it'll yeah. be fine. Really? It sure. would be? Mm -hmm. Sure. Wow. That would be oh, fun. Oh, my goodness. Now, there's other clubs yeah. besides that. Uh, the woods, those are woods, would be. Used for driving. Even though it's metal, it's called a wood. Yeah. Oh. For driving, beginning the game. Then you have irons that have. They're complicating it. <laughs> configuration. Wow. And the, the deeper the configuration this way, the higher and the shorter your ball will go, provided you swing properly. <laughs> Provided you keep your head down. Yeah, yeah, Sean, keep your head down. Really? Is yes, that your head? See, an automatic, oh automatic uh, uh, event for people like you and I yeah. is you put it down, you swing, and you're looking at the ball yeah. right away. You can't do that. You swing, and you hear the click, and the ball goes.
toes and, and you're still just... looking at that grass. Well, it, it, <laughs> it is so important. But, but what does that have to do with... It has, it has everything to do with hitting the ball right, proper in the sweet spot. So like I know that said, it goes here, right? Right. But if you pick your eyes up too soon, you end up hitting the ball here, which puts top spin on the ball, and it'll only go about 50 feet. So you need to keep your eyes down. I don't get it either. Make, hit the ball. Right. And once you do that, then when you hear the tink, when yeah. you hear the club hit the ball, then you can pick your eyes up and watch where it went. Oh, so are you saying that most of us would probably pick our head up before it even hits? I did that a It's lot. natural. It's natural. It, you want to see where it's going you before, see where it's it's going gone. before it gets there. It's the natural thing to do. And even I, I still I do it to yeah. this day. I, I, I do. Because I get in a hurry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and that, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. I never realized how important it was to follow all these little rules. Yeah. And until I start learning from him. And it, it improves your thought immensely if you pay attention to all these little rules. Oh my and if you can you know, master the idea of picking, if you will. Right. There's a lot of discipline involved. There is. There is. That's just the beginning. <laughs> really? Too many things to remember for yeah, me. Exactly. I, I can't do it. And people enjoy it. I mean, there are lots of golfers. It's, out it's there. a, there's, a, there's a movie uh, out that has a kind of a Christian theme to it called The Legend of Bagger Vance. And in that movie, Will Smith uh, is quoted as saying, it's a game that can only be played, not be won. It's a game that can only be played, not be won. Oh, my goodness. So, and, that, and that's the discipline of it. You can't win the game. There's no winning. You're complicating it for because people yeah, exactly. do win. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but to a I, actually conquer it, it's right. probably what they and what yeah. is my take on it. You know, because a, a game is won in a sense that when you play against somebody when you else. play against somebody else, yeah. you know. But you you can't really conquer it because you can't. Some days you have good shots, and some days you don't. That's right. Some days you can do all the things in the right. He has a. He, he's the only Marlow in the family that has a hole in one to his name. Yeah. I've been playing since I was 16 years old, and I've never had a hole in one. But he has, and he's only been playing since he was 65 years old. When did it happen? Do you remember the day? Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> by himself. Yes. Oh, by yourself. Yes. I was all by myself. And are you sure yeah, that? The height of the summer. So here we are. You're 100 degrees outside, and I'm playing golf. For very little fee, and uh, anyway, I, I hit the ball with a club like that, oh only my. smaller, because the shot was 148 yards, and I came under the ball absolutely perfectly, and I just went up, and I'm watching it go, watching it go, and all of a sudden I didn't see it anymore, but I saw it come down on the green, so I drove a cart around to try and thought I was on the other side. And I couldn't find the ball. So my cute little brain said, why don't you go look in a cup? And I did, and there it was. And I just about fell over. My, I was on customer site, and he yeah. called me. And, and, and of course, when mom and dad call, I always answer the phone. And uh, right in the middle of a meeting, and he says, you're not going to believe this. You could hear him shaking on the phone. I have a holy one. I have a holy one. <laughs> But you've come, you've come close. Whoa. That doesn't come. Well, I know, but it doesn't come close. So it good. actually went right in the hole. Well, it bounced, that little, it bounced and then it bounced went right in the hole. The, the, yeah. the green is the nice, short, short, yeah. short grass. Oh. It bounced on the green and it rolled into the cup. Oh. And I didn't see that. Oh my yeah. goodness. So that was kind of, that was very astounding. I, that I is. That. Those angels were working over time that day. That's what it was <laughs> <for>. <laughs> Thanks, Sebastian. And his crew. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Oh my goodness! Yeah. It, it, but you would you would know, right? You would know that nobody was there to really see yeah, it, but exactly. you know. Exactly. Yeah. But all of heaven, they were there. That's, That's right. right. I said the angels. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, so you keep them and you enjoy them. And are you sure right. you're not going to miss them? I, I will miss them. <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah, but she can borrow it. She's yeah, not going to keep it forever, right, honey. Exactly. I'll leave it here for a bit, sure. So that it's means that, no, are you going golfing maybe today? Uh -huh. And you might I'm need it. I'm going to try golfing today. Well, but, I won't use but he doesn't club. use that club. Are you sure? Because you yeah. know what? 
maybe when um, Scott and Sean come to take some pictures of us inside the cloister, they could bring this then, and all of us could have a try at it, and then you can well, keep it until we, then. We have some extra uh, sticks where you can all try. Yeah. And you might want to practice a little bit. Before I was going to say you want to practice. <laughs> With the whiffle ball, not the not the hard. One would be great historical humorous factor is yeah. that you take pictures while you're first learning. Well, yeah. And right. you see all these little I'll be right back. Some okay. mistakes that we make. You know? Right, okay. exactly. And then you, as you as you improve, they get better. Oh my goodness, well you think there's going to be improvement. Well, I have a feeling I'm just going to have to learn how to do the hands. <laughs> yes. I tell you, the tricky thing is to pay attention to people like him. Really try and put it, I, I learned one thing when he tells me something yeah. and he throws a bunch of things at me yeah. and I try and get him up here yeah. and you know, put him to work. That when I get to the golf course, I take my club and I put it down and I say, him, he's talking to me now. It's like a recording up here. Right. And he says, where's your feet pointing? So you look at your feet. <laughs> okay, now, I think this is silly. Now, if this is the lineup of the ball, mm -hmm. okay, and you line up like this, okay, uh, and you swing, your ball is not going to go there. Yep. It'll go over there. Okay. Wow. So, rule number one, where are your feet? Why do you want your feet there? Well, because they're important. So then you grip, you grip, take your grip, put your grip properly. That's another focal mm -hmm. thing. And then you put the tee up. Where's the tee up? So high, so yeah. low. You have to tee the ball to the proper club. So that's another rule. Oh my goodness. You know, well, that's, an automatic, that's an automatic rule once you learn. What to do? Okay, you need to check on that one. But there are so many other finite things you need to watch before you swing the club. You got to get your body ready in position, proper, proper straight uh, length, and all those kind of good things. Now, and it's all worth it. It is, because it's nothing more exhilarating than to hit that little thing and chase after it and say, "Wow, I hit that!" I hit it that hard. 150 yards. Wow. It's called pasture pool. Oh. I worked for a man who called it pasture, pasture pool. pool. Really? Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, my goodness. There. You mean the ball fits on these things? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was, was going to be... Oh, my goodness. That is amazing. The person who the ground fell so far. And you just rest the ball on top. You brought the, you brought the fun ball. Is this the fun one? That's the fun one. This is the trick yeah. one. Put it on. Put it on. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it has a weight in it. So, when, so you sneak that up. That is to, So you sneak up to somebody's ball and you replace it on the yeah. game. And then they go, you're trying to hit it. And they go really? to hit it and it jumps all over the place. Jumps all over the place. Oh my goodness. It's pretty fun. You'll have the one with the pretty on it. This is for a higher club like this. And don't worry about it yeah. if you break them. So we have a <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my goodness! Wow, well, we appreciate that. You're gonna, you're gonna you enjoy it. Oh, you will. Yes, you, oh, Just remember, yes. when you're done. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep big birds warm. Okay, but but they do warm. cover their golf clubs, don't they? Oh, Keep them from scratching. From scratching, yeah. yeah. Well, what would be wrong with a couple of Well, when you're a good golfer, the yeah. grooves that are in the face of the club, these grooves here, control yeah. how much spin is on the ball. Oh. And if they get dull, they have, we have sharpeners and stuff, we can cut the grooves a little deeper. Really? If they get dull, then they, you know, 
know, get the rotation and the distance and so on on the ball. Wow. <coughs> so you have to keep them clean. Wow. Now, do you have, do people have these meat to their body? You can get measured. Really? Yeah, you can get measured. You can go on the golf stores now and get measured for your, for your swing. You can buy shafts for your swing, how hard you swing, how slow you swing, how soft you swing. So when we bought clubs for the retired gift, we yeah. bought we bought shafts that are extremely flexible so that you don't have to swing really hard. Wow. So that the club the, the, the club shaft actually does some of the work for him. Wow, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mario, you still have beautiful hands. He's he has three in hands. Yeah, you know, wow. Because I was thinking, like, with arthritis, when it starts to set in, you mm -hmm. know, I'm sure there's golfers that have arthritis in their mm -hmm. hands and they still want to golf. Mm -hmm. Oh, my it's, goodness. It's, well, I appreciate the class. It's an addicting sport. It truly is. The more you go, the more you want to try. The more you try, the more you go. So. <laughs> well, it's a nature's walk too, and yeah. that's what my brother outside. and I talked to my dad about when he retired. It's a nature's walk. I mean, you when you go on the golf course and you walk, which he did when he first started, he walked. Um, it's it's seven thousand yards. So you're, you're talking about walking five miles. Oh my goodness! And you have a cart that you put your you bag, put your, your bag and you pull and pull it, and you so pull, pull cart, pull cart. You're not carrying on your shoulders. You 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 hit the ball and you walk to the ball and you hit the ball and you, it's yeah. a very relaxing for nine holes. It takes a couple hours. But now, what about the carts? You see some carts? Yeah, there's uh, golf. We, we use those now. Yeah, we use them. You now. Know, oh, but before some some golfers they can just walk to. Yes. Oh, I see. That's where you get all your exercise. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh my. When I was much younger. Yeah. Uh, I used to walk a lot. Did you? But uh, after a point, you ride the cart. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I can walk the cars now, oh. not anymore. But uh, right. it's, it's nevertheless getting out of the cart, walking to the <laughs> to the tee box. <laughs> every little bit of walk is good, right. and you do get some walking because you can't park right next to your ball many times. Oh, um, right. Yeah. Getting, getting in and out of the cart, right? Getting in and out of the cart is some work for you yeah. right now, and swinging is mm -hmm. a lot of work for mm -hmm. you. Um, so, you know, right now, um, when we came back from Arizona, we got him out for four holes, and that's all he could do. And then we got him out for six holes last Sunday. So, we're, and today he's going to go with the guys really? this afternoon at 2 o'clock. Yeah. Oh, I I'm guess. Try. How many guys are going to be there? Well, there's, there used to be six, five. There used to be five. And it's cut down quite a bit because we're all in that age group where things One, one of the guys is 90. 91. 91. It would be 91 in July. Wow. He's yeah. got a good swing for a Does he really? Oh, yeah. He hits the ball really well. Hey, he's he's, still, he he's just, just a little short guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah about that yeah, tall. That big. Really? Mm -hmm. He is tremendous. Now, do you all just wait to each one swings mm -hmm. and then you move together? Or, you know, so your ball goes and then what? Does everybody go to the to the ball or do you wait till right. everybody you swings? Hit your own ball. Everybody hits their own ball. Mm -hmm. We could be. We could be there, there, there. Depends where your ball is, where it finally ended up. Right. So, so you hit the shortest one first. Yeah. When everybody moves together, moves together, so you don't get hit. Oh, no. So how does that work again? So you, the person that hit the shortest ball off the tee box yeah. will hit the first the next time. You'll go to that ball first. So you just go to the closest ball, it. closest ball, yeah. closest ball until you get to the green. Oh my goodness, you know what, there's, there's a lot involved. ball. <laughs> yeah, it is. I thought there was... <laughs> yeah, it, it seems like you just get up there, put the ball down. And, 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 and. Yeah, exactly. Mrs. Mara, you know exactly how I do, things. because that's how, that's how women think, you know. I'm just, until you get a little involved in it, and I hear all these stories, you know, I feel like I'm a golfer. I, I don't even go out. You don't? Oh, you don't know. Mm -mm. Well, you know what, Mrs. Mara, you would look cute in one of those little skirts. Oh, oh, I sure would. <laughs> <laughs> just in the shower. Oh, really? just, oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, no, that's yeah. not for me. We might, no. Yeah. Mm -mm. She went. We took her out a couple times. And we uh, we took her out to Medora. You know, Medora is right. No, I don't. Medora is just west of Bismarck by a couple hours. It's out in the Badlands of North Dakota. Oh. And there's a beautiful golf course out mm -hmm. there that Sean and I like to play. So we took mom and dad with us. Uh -huh. Dad and I rode together, and mom and Sean rode together. And mom didn't golf, but she enjoyed the whole the scenery. Whole tour yeah, beautiful. Because it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful course. Mm -hmm. And uh, dad golfed the first nine, and then 
helped us helped us in the second night. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. That is amazing. I knew some young boys that would, um, I guess, like, cut the lawn there at the golf course mm -hmm. because they worked there. So at night when nobody was there, they got to play, you know, oh, so they, sure. and so they became really good at it. They started out young working there, and I don't know if that helped their experience sure. of golfing. I'm and sure, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so now that they're older, they really take it seriously now, but... Mm -hmm. Ah, I says now I know how they keep it so nice, you know, mm -hmm. the lawns and everything. Sean's dad is a greenskeeper. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a very good golfer and, and a greenskeeper over in Wisconsin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. He gets up at 3.30 in the morning and he heads to the golf course and he starts mowing at 4.30. Mm -hmm. And he's done before the first people hit the tee box. And so what time do they start? Uh, it's up, well, sun up. 6.30 oh, would be the first yeah. tee time, 6.40. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, they're up early. Mm -hmm. Get your 18 holes in and it takes about, if you get on the course early, it only takes about three and a half hours to play 18 holes. Plus in the summer when it's getting really hot, you know, yes. get out there early before the heat's right. hot. Now I I mm -hmm. saw that it was warm one day and the golfers were out there. I'm like, it's uh -huh. hot out here, you know, yeah. and they're mm -hmm. golfing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, There's but there's beer water. afterwards. Oh, is that what? You're <laughs> <laughs> and water in between. Oh my goodness! <laughs> the nineteenth hole, right? The nineteenth hole. The nineteenth hole. The nineteenth hole. Oh, when I came in with the balls, what? Steve met me in the lobby. He put some frozen fish in the turn for you. Oh, wonderful. He just dropped it off. Oh, great. So oh. he said, since we're busy, she said, yeah. just let Mother know. I said, okay. Oh. Oh. Is Father waiting? Yeah. Well, we just have to let him know when we're ready to go. Oh, oh y'all are going out for breakfast. Yes. 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 Father's mm -hmm. going to join us today. Is he? So. That's wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. For your birthday, Mrs. Yes. Yes. For my birthday. Great. My body's getting old. It is? Well, you look great to me. Well, her mind isn't. Just my body. Oh. The rest of it's okay. <laughs> Can you still dance? Oh, Lord. Oh, she danced at our daughter's wedding in September. Did you 